What's going on everybody? I'm here to do a review for the movie Us, probably one of my most anticipated films that I wanted to see ever since I first learned about it last year. And I learned about it way into last year when Jordan Peele, the director, actually dropped the first poster for the film. And it was like a Rorschach type of picture, you know, when you go into therapy sessions and you look at it, but you didn't really get on um, what was to come from the film based on that particular image. All you saw was just this image, and it was like, okay, what is this? And then we learned that Lapita Nyong'o was going to be in it, and Winston Duke was going to be in it. And that already sold me enough as it was. And then they dropped the first trailer on Christmas Day last year, and I was immediately intrigued. And by the way, I need to find out whoever can get that version of I Got Five on it, because that is a dope remix to that particular song. And I like how they used it throughout the movie as well. But anyway... Us is basically um, a movie about a couple uh, played by Lupita Nyong'o and, and Winston Duke, and they take their family to this beach for this vacation, for this vacation getaway, and then a whole bunch of stuff just start happening, and then you know they're starting, you know they're having fun and everything like that, but then you see that Lupita's character is like always on edge. It's almost like she always has like these anxiety moments. She's always like wants her kids to be safe and everything like that so it's like something about that just seems like it's just kind of off putting about that but then again you never really know it's just i guess you could say it's like a mother's love to want to protect her children and then that's when a lot of things start to go south um if you remember looking in the trailers you see your family standing in the driveway and that was that this is not really so much of a spoiler i mean if you looked at the trailer it pretty much gave you what was going to happen a little bit but you didn't know how it led up to that point so this family just comes into their lives and it turns out this family is indeed their doppelganger like they look exactly like them from the mother the father the daughter and the son they all look exactly alike but something is just very very off about them like they look exactly like them like they're a clone and they don't know what's going on with them and you know they're trying to figure everything out while trying to get away with away from them because this family is just crazy as hell now what i thought was very interesting is that going into this movie i thought it was only going to be them who were the being the doppelgangers but it turns out that wasn't the case it was actually a government um i guess you can say experiment that they had started where they were doing what they were doing was they were cloning all of these individuals and pretty much they were trying to clone everybody in the establishment and make doppelgangers of them but see the thing is they clone their physical bodies but not so much their soul that's why when you look at the movie they're kind of off like they, they'll look like them but they don't have the soul that these individuals have and it was very interesting because and i don't want to like give any spoilers in there because i know people are going to want to see uh, this film and, and so I'm not really going to do that but the movie was very good shout out to Jordan Peele for putting this movie together it was definitely more intense than Get Out it's not a sequel to Get Out let me just put that right put that out there right now I'm actually starting my car right now because it's actually kind of hot in here so let me turn this air on right quick but anyway so it definitely is a, a Horus type film it's definitely not Get Out people thought it was a sequel to get out and it's not uh it's its own standalone film but it just shows you what happens when the government can get involved with something and they start this experiment and they don't finish it and it's like it's kind of hard for me to really give this review without giving any spoilers um but i really don't want to give any because i know many people want to see this particular film but in my opinion the girl who played the the, the daughter she was probably one of the best characters in uh, the movie as herself and as the doppelganger. Like, she was creepy as hell. But I will say this. Lapita's acting in this movie as the doppelganger, she played the hell out of that role. And I can see why, looking in this movie, why she earned her Oscar. Because she played creepy very well. Everyone played their part very well, but she really had to carry the movie because she was the lead actress in the film. And she plays an intricate, a very intricate role because of the plot twist. And I'm not going to reveal what the plot twist is. Y'all are going to have to go see the movie for yourself to find out what it is. And the plot twist literally happens pretty much at the dead end of the movie. You know, unlike Get Out, it happened towards the end of the movie. 
but it still had a lot left going on in the film before it was over. But this plot twist pretty much comes up at the very, very end of the film. And then you start to like piece it all together. I know this is going to be one of those movies that's probably going to have a social commentary behind it. But I don't think it's going to have as much as Get Out did. Some people are probably going to go see it more than once to see what they in, what they probably missed. But all in all, uh, Us was definitely a good movie. It was a good uh, follow-up movie to Get Out. Like I said, it's not a sequel. It's its own film. It was very um, different than what I expected. Like I said, when I saw the trailer, I didn't know what to expect going into it. All I saw was them being themselves, and I'm like, what the hell is going on? It confused everybody. And now that I saw the film, now I understand what indeed was happening. Shout out to Jordan Peele, great director. He wrote the movie, he directed the movie, he produced the movie. He's literally becoming like the Tyler Perry of horror films. Like, I think it's, it's amazing to watch how Jordan Peele went from comedy to horror and is managing to make that work. It's amazing how he jumped from that particular genre to this one. And it's very interesting how he pretty much did all of that. And I can tell that this film uh, was probably um, shot in a very, you know, less amount of time. So like how Get Out, uh, I think they said they shot that movie for what, like three weeks? Um, I don't know what the budget is for this particular film, but I can tell they probably had a little bit more money to play with because of the elements and what they use. Um, I will say this, there are going to be some jump scares in there. If you are a person that scares easily, you're going to be screaming a lot. You might be jumping a lot. Um, it's, it's some points in there that made me jump a little bit because I wasn't expecting that. It wasn't like the cliche type of thing. Like, okay, I knew that was going to happen. Um, of course, you know, in the, in the uh, certain horror films, they always have the characters do some dumb things. But, you know, I guess you can chalk that up to being a uh, human error. But all in all, the movie was pretty decent. Um, definitely, um, well, I can't judge it and say it's going to be on, um, like, the top five best films of the year because we still got a lot of movies left of the year to go. But it's definitely one of the best that I've seen so far this year it was definitely innovative it was creative it was different and i like that they're doing something like jordan peele is doing something in a different direction opposed to monsters and witchcraft and uh um vampires you know the usual stuff or you know the slasher type of films this is something that added a horror element to it but it actually makes you think at the same time now, some people probably say I got to go and watch this movie again. To be honest, unlike Get Out, I think I was able to get through this movie one time and was able to grasp it. Get Out, I had to watch that about two or three times before I actually uh, realized what the hell was going on. It created a lot of dialogue. But I have no doubt that this movie is going to create dialogue as well. But if I had to give this movie a grade, I would definitely give it an 8 out of a 10. Um, there was some moments in the movie where I wish that the characters didn't do certain things. I would say that Winston Duke's character sometimes was a bit cringy. Um, they kind of made him almost like a corny, like a cornball type of character at some aspects. I wish they um, didn't um, do it. Like I said, Lupita's character was very good. The daughter, I loved her character. The son was also very interesting. He, he was actually very smart. Um, a lot of people probably tried to write him off, but he was actually very intelligent when you really bottle it all down. But the only character that was kind of cringy to me was the Winston Duke's character, which was her husband. Like I said, he would do certain things, like cornballish things. And y'all will see it. If y'all watch the movie, it's like, I can't believe he did this, you know, especially as a black man. But, you know, that's how his character was written. I guess that's how they wanted him to be portrayed. But in the end, you know, it was a very, uh, it was a fairly good movie. The plot twist at the end is definitely going to get you. You're not going to see it coming. Like I said, Jordan Peele, right now is pretty good at giving plot twists but us was a very good movie i really enjoyed it if i had to go watch it again i probably would it was a full audience for when um from where i saw that and it, um i saw it at 11 a.m it was pretty much sold out at 11 a.m on a friday as a matter of fact there was so many showings that they added a one o'clock a.m showing in um and i think a 145 and both of them sold out so the movie is definitely probably going to be number one in the box office this weekend. I have no doubt about it. And I think it's because a lot of people are coming off of the hype of Get Out and, you know, coming into this movie as well. And I always said that when it comes to his movies, I only need to see one trailer and that's it. I don't need to watch any clips. I don't need to see any behind the scenes stuff. I've seen one thing. I don't know the plot. I don't even go for his films. I don't even go look up the synopsis. I just go in there and I just, you know, I want to expect the unexpected when it comes to his uh, films. So... 
This is going to be very interesting to see the dialogue. I can't wait to see what y'all have to say down in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think about this review. Does this make you want to go see the movie or not? I already know some of y'all. What some of y'all are going to go say? Y'all said I'll watch it maybe on Blu-ray or maybe I'll go quote unquote bootleg it. I already know what y'all going to say. But y'all, let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe, and I will talk to you in the next one.